All right, good afternoon. Uh, we uh, obviously have had a uh, horrific tragedy uh, here at the Navy Yard in the immediate area uh, beginning this morning about 8.20 uh, a.m. Uh, a shooter uh, entered uh, Building 197, which is the Naval Sea uh, Command, uh, and began uh, shooting. Our uh, MPD active shooter team responded immediately uh, there, uh, launched a search for the shooter, and engaged at least one person uh, along the way. Uh, we know that there are four wounded that have been removed from uh, the scene and taken to a hospital. Uh, we're still trying to confirm uh, the number of uh, fatalities uh, involved, and we'll have to do that uh, later. Um, as far as we know, this is an isolated incident. We don't know of any other uh, installations that are involved uh, in this. We would ask all the residents of this area to please stay out of the area. This is an active investigation uh, that uh, is going on. And of course, because this involves the military uh, and the federal government, we have been act actively and directly and continuously involved with the White House uh, about uh, this incident. Uh, confirming what we know uh, at this stage. I want to call upon uh, our police chief, Catherine Lanier, now to uh, provide additional details. Uh, she will be followed by the park police chief, uh, Teresa Chambers, and uh, we have other law enforcement officials uh, here with us. Uh, again, I'm sure you all understand we're not prepared to answer a lot of questions at this stage because this is a continuing uh, active investigation, and we will reconvene uh, at some point uh, later this afternoon as more information is available to us. Chief Lanier. So um, obviously at this point it's still very preliminary. I'll give you what it is that we do have uh, right now and there, there's still a lot of work to be done. We won't be taking questions right now. We will be doing another briefing um, within the next two hours. We'll give locations for that briefing. Right now what I can tell you is our initial call came in for a shooting um, on the Navy Yard. It came 15, there was a request for Metropolitan Police Department assistance. Our units were on the scene, active shooter teams were deployed and actually deployed on base within seven minutes of the uh, first call coming in. Um, multiple active shooter teams from the Metropolitan Police Department, Park Police, um, U.S. Marshals, uh, eventually also FBI, um, have been inside the base since that time. Right now, and this is very, very preliminary, we have one MPD officer who was shot in engagement with the shooter inside of the Navy Yard. We have one shooter that we believed uh, involved in this that is deceased. Um, we also have um, other casualties. I will not give a, a confirmed number this time, but I'd say we have multiple uh, victims inside that are deceased. We will give updates once we have those numbers confirmed. Um, the big concern for us right now is, is that we potentially have uh, two other shooters that we have not located at this point. So right now, um, all we have on those potential other shooters, and this is not confirmed, we potentially may have two additional shooters out there, one being a white male who was last seen around 8.35, 8.40 this morning in a khaki tan uh, military uniform, uh, short sleeve with a beret hat, uh, appeared to be like a naval uniform. Um, that white male was last seen around 8.35 this morning um, with a handgun. We also have a lookout potentially for another shooter involved that was a black male, approximately 50 years of age, who um, may have been in possession of a long gun. That person was wearing an olive drab. Uh, colored possible military style uniform. We have no information to believe that either of those folks are military personnel, but we do have information that those individuals are wearing military style uniforms. So anybody that has information that may have seen someone ma matching those descriptions, we are asking for them to call uh, the Metropolitan Police Department on 202-727-9099. Um, so in terms of the investigation, it is still very active. We have asked our members of the community to please remain um, out of the area and uh, in their homes uh, until we finish uh, doing this search. Obviously, we've got a large area here that we're still um, actively engaged in a search on. So 
Um, with that, I just uh, want to thank all the other uh, agencies that have been here. This is a very active, ongoing, unified investigation at this point. The FBI has been uh, here fully engaged from the very beginning, along with Park Police, Metro Transit Police, um, DOD, Naval, uh, Naval Criminal Intelligence. Uh, so we've had everybody here along with us all along. As soon as we get additional information, we certainly will push it out.